guys, Silver Player 22 here, bringing you another international Man of the Match Silver Player review. Now, that doesn't roll off the tongue quite as easy as a Team of the Season Silver Player review or an informed Silver Player review, but the card looks so beautiful that, you know, it's more than worth the, uh, the extra few syllables. If you haven't already checked out my international Man of the Match review of Carlos Cueva from yesterday, definitely go and check that out, because that guy scored an unreal goal in real life. If anyone hasn't already checked that out, definitely go and check it out. Someone's probably linked it in the comments. In fact, I think I saw it. Anyway, today we've got Johan Venegas, who is a Costa Rican player from the uh, MLS. I don't really know a great deal about him other than what I've seen in the Cops America this year. And other than the fact he is almost entirely extinct. Every now and again one pops up for about 5 minutes for 100k then disappears. Which is absolutely crazy. So I thought with that amount of sort of extinction I thought I'd pick one up really quickly, sniped one. Um, and yeah, let's see what the, all the fuss is about. Now he's got 75 pace, 74 dribbling, 70 shooting, 70 passing, uh, 73 physically, 6 foot tall, high medium work rates with 4 star skill moves. Now that is obviously a really well rounded card. Now when we have a look at his in-game stats, you know, they're not team of the season level, but they are very well rounded. 82 agility, 81 balance is very nice. Much higher acceleration than sprint speed is called. Decent strength. No complaints there, to be honest. Even quite high aggression. Got no real complaints about any of those stats. The skill attribute is a little bit lower. The finishing is only 68, which is a bit disappointing, but the shot power is 75. Good um, short passing. And yeah, I mean, he starts off as a left midfielder, so... Or is it a right midfielder? I can't actually remember. But he starts off as a winger, so you can understand why those passing stats are actually not too bad. Now let's get into talking about him. So I'm going to start off by saying he's actually really good at dribbling. That's probably something I didn't really anticipate. Four star skill moves really help him massively. Strong, so he doesn't really get bullied too much. And yeah, agility is really decent. Holds onto the ball quite nicely. Nice to take it round players. Passing's not too bad. Not too bad in the air. You know, overall can't complain too much. Long shots are pretty decent. But let's get to a little bit of a problem with this guy in that he is probably one of the most difficult players I've had to review in that he is so inconsistent. Now, some of the time, I felt like I was using an, a player who was an absolute world beater. You know, clips like that, you can see there, he just takes it in and out of people and smashes it into the corner. Sometimes he can't hit a barn door, he plays it at the goalkeeper. And you're just thinking, I know you got only got 68 shooting, but at least put it, aim for the corner a little bit. And sometimes I'm just... Some, it was really hard to, to get to the bottom of this guy. It, it, some some of the time I was playing, I was thinking, I'm going to have to give this guy about a 9.2, 9.3. And then sometimes I was playing, I was like, I can't give this guy above a 7.5. And it was literally just the fact he was so inconsistent. And I just really couldn't get a full read on the guy because, you know, he, overall he, he played very, very well. But just some of the qualities that he put forward, like some of his finishing, you know... He need, as a striker, you need to be able to finish. That's my absolute role. Uh, my absolute rule, sorry. And he, sometimes he couldn't. And for that reason, I just I can't be too positive about him, even though I actually did quite enjoy him. And, and another point I need to say is he does go missing in games and, he, and his runs aren't the best. Like, he seems to just disappear and it's, it's frustrating. I'm not even going to lie to you. I've, given, I've still given him an 8.3 out of 10 because when he's good, he is really, really good and he's... People can't play against him. I was coming up against, you know, Puyol and, you know, um, I played a game against Boatang and this guy, Venegas, is just taking around Boatang with no problem at all, whether it's strength, whether it's sort of pushing him off the ball or just using that really good acceleration. Like, he's got a really good burst of speed and, yeah, his sprint speed isn't as good, but, yeah, overall, 8.3 out of 10, I feel like is really fair, you know, and I feel like it, it, it incorporates the fact that some of the time he's good and some of the time he's excellent, but sometimes he is not perfect. Anyway, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this review, and I hope you understand how difficult a review it actually was. I'd love to know in the comments below, have you guys tried out Johan Venegas, and what did you think about him? Did you have the more sort of, did you have the more yeah, positive time with him, or did you have the troubles with him? Let me know if you found him as inconsistent as me. And for end chat today, who is your favourite non-rare silver on FIFA 16? I'd love to know. I'll let you know mine in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, and Sorry about the fact that there's no not been any silver rated high uh, silver plated hybrids or silver road to glories you know over the weekend but you know I'm trying to get into more of a schedule and yeah they will be coming both you know, there'll be a silver plated hybrid tomorrow and then the silver road to glory on Wednesday so stay tuned for that guys and as I said like comment subscribe and thanks for watching cheers guys.